So notice here, you can pretty much add as much as you want here inside your new query setup. You just have to put in an and sign to go to the next area. And this time I'm going to and into a limit. So I also want to tell the database how many I actually want back from the request. So let's have a look here again in the code, because this, of course, it won't do a change right now. Not even if I put in a one, I'll still get back both of these guys. So it won't change anything. So what we want to do is we want to add a limit now. There are a few things we have to do now to actually make this work. Let's actually start out by renaming this guy. Instead of query object, let's call it the search object because we're kind of searching in this area right here. So the search object. Okay, next what we want to do is we want to say if the query, just like here, we want to say if there's a limit now instead, right? So I'm going to call this if Q limit, meaning there's something inside limit right now. So if there is something in here, right? We actually have to pass it because it's probably going to send it in as a string. So what you can do is you can say, if it's sending this in as text, basic text, you can actually do something called pass int like this. And then you can say the, the text that we're getting in, convert that into a number or an integer in this case, right? So when you need to convert it into an integer, you'll get an exception when we now take this limit down here and say, after we found everything we wanna find, there's a, actually a function inside Mongoose called limit where you can just add a number. That was helpful. So now we can actually limit whatever we find here. There we go. Let's just try and test it. So I say if there's a limit, it's probably a string right now, convert it into an integer. And then when you find something, also limit to, you don't want everything back. You just want a specific count back. So let's try and have a look here again in from Postman. So I'm going to limit bill now to one. Let's see if it works. Now I'm only getting back one bill. If I want two back again, I can just put in two here and I'll get two bills back. What if I remove the query of bill and only have limit in here? Let's see what happens. I actually only get two back again, but what if I want five back or four? Then I get four back, right? So the limit works now to only get the amount back that I request. Let's say I don't even have a limit in here and I just do a send of customers, I get all the customers back, right? So everything still works as it did before, perfect. But I also want to limit, if you don't put anything in there, I still just want to give you a maximum of 25 back, always. I don't want to, you to pull back all the information in the database, I just want a specific amount. So we're going to add an extra thing here saying else, meaning that if there's no limit field coming in from the outside, we're actually going to just default set the limit into being 25. So now we only get 25 back every time you do a search, you don't get more than 25 back. So that's how we put in the limit set and then now you can't see it here because I don't have 25, but I would actually only get 25 hits back when I didn't put in anything here. So now you added two fields inside your query. Not only do you have your, um, sorry, your, your query, you also have your limit now. So you can start doing limited searches. Now that's the first part of Page Nation. Let's try and look at the next part. See you next time.